This is a 1969 Mustang Fastback M code. And an M code is the same uh, code that in the VIN that had a Mach 1, but it didn't necessarily mean it was a Mach 1. It's got an electric fuel pump. You can hear that turn right on when I click the key. Touch the key and she fires right up. So she's actually got a 1970 uh, 351 Cleveland. She's very bossy. Just like Glenn was just saying, it's got a really great sounding exhaust. It's very, very aggressive. I'm gonna hop back in here and turn it off. Park it in gear. It doesn't look like the emergency brake does work. I think um, this is a really killer car for under 20 grand. Um, it's really hard to get into these Mustang Fastbacks, um, you know, for under 20 grand. And, and that's because it's a driver. I think it's mechanically in great shape. It's an original four speed. One of the reasons why I picked this car up so fast, the guy that called me, he said, uh, I was thinking about selling this Mustang. Were you guys interested in it? And I, he started telling me about it and I pulled the Marty report and I was like, I definitely want it. It's very, very hard to find original four speed 69, 70 Mustangs, uh, fastbacks. And actually just first generation Mustangs in general, it's hard to find in original manual transmissions, especially the four speeds. So, um, <clears throat> this thing is, this thing is really sweet. And, uh, and a lot of fun. The body lines are straight on it, no rust. Undercarriage is clean, rust free. Show you that in a minute. It is a M code car. That means it did originally come with a 350, uh, 351 high performance engine, but it would have been a Windsor. Of course, it's got an upgraded uh, aluminum radiator, three core aluminum radiator. Got some really cool valve covers, uh, nice Ford Racing valve covers. It's a really nice looking engine detail under the hood. Not, not show, not, nothing about this car is show. This is a this is a go car, not a show car. Um, this is a car that you can just have fun with, have, have a toy, take it to the, uh, I mean, you could drive it to work every day if you really wanted to. Um, it does have manual steering and manual brakes. It's got uh, new chrome bumpers, new bezels around the lights. 
It's got uh, new American Racing torque thrust wheels that look really nice on it. They're offset, a little smaller in the front, a little wider in the back. I believe there's sevens in the front and nines in the back. All the glass is good in the car. Lights work, turn signals work. Interior on the car, very presentable. Good dash. It's like a new dash cap, a new dash cover. Original radio it does not work. Seats are in good shape. They're loose. They've been sat in for a while and they're not new. Back seat with the fold down back. got a newer carpet kit in it and uh, new floor mats that say Mach 1 on them. This is, uh, this is a vehicle that you can only tell if it's a true Mach 1 by pulling a Marty report. According to the VIN code, it's a Mach 1 because it's an M code. It's what a Mach 1 would be. And for anybody who knows a lot about Mustangs, they know what I'm talking about. If you don't know a lot about Mustangs, uh, it, a Mach 1s were all M codes, but not all M codes were Mach 1s. That's the best way that I can say it. Um, it does have disc brakes on the front. Um, so in other words, this would be really easy to turn into a Mach 1. You put the louvers on the back window, put the high back bucket seats in it with a red stripe, uh, right mock, get the Mach 1 decal for the side, and basically, for all intents and purposes, you do have Mach 1. Even at a car show, you could enter it into a car show as a Mach 1, and like I said, with the VIN number, pulls Mach 1. There may be a lot of information for some people that might not really care, but it's just a little bit of Carfax. It's really hot on this concrete, so I'm going to give a quick glimpse of the undercarriage. Very clean, good clean floor pans, rust free, new Flowmaster exhaust with long tube headers. That's why it sounds so sick. This thing's freaking awesome. Chrome tip exhaust in the back, 9 inch rear end with a locking differential. Very clean, very, very clean car.